Well, the good thing about having a car in front of you at the old red light is if someone's going to run it, they get uh, nailed first. There's always that one chance that the second person gets nailed too, so. <laughs> that boy ain't right. Gotta stay vigilant, head on a swivel, as they say. Here we go. That was good. On this week's episode of the Kenny Quest Show, we head to Bike Week. It's off to the Cabbage Patch. I learn a lot about my skills and lack thereof. Stay tuned. up where we left off on last week's episode i'll put a link above if you haven't seen it we're leaving the cabbage patch which is a bike week destination i'm getting ready to leave with hail rider behind me and the slower rider is always in front so she's behind me we're on senate communicators and as you can see pulling away there's a group of riders uh, that include cars and they're just all together and i'm waiting for them to pass and as we approach the stop sign you can see it's a little chaotic you got pedestrians walking across the street you got motorcycles you got cars you got all sorts of different things. My big concern for leaving this event and heading home was uh, getting up to speed. There's a stretch here that at 55 miles per hour, I wanted to get to speed as quickly as possible. The main apprehensions that I had going into this ride, the fact that it was windy, in the back of my mind, because the bike is brand new, I had the dealer's instructions to keep the RPMs low, the owner's manual instructions for the first 500 miles to keep the RPMs low. I don't know if I used that as a crutch, but um, I was not revving out the engine like I should have. But uh, let's see how I do on my first try to get up to speed. I'm gonna throw this zero to 60 time up on the screen. I don't think I'll be uh, breaking any records today, but just for reference. As you can see, I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting up to speed quickly. At this point, um, you know, I seem to be stuck around 42 back down a little bit the wind is hitting my chest and the crevices in the road it's like I can feel every little thing in the road and it's that's a new sensation for me there's a lot of grooves in the road as you can see um, in lane position number two um, I felt comfortable in the center um, but yeah I'm struggling to, to get up to speed So you can see that first stretch uh, was 50 miles per hour. And we got another stretch coming up right after this stoplight that's 55 miles per hour. I'm having trouble with visibility behind me. These are the stock mirrors that came with the 
Iron 83. I'm seeing my shoulders, and that's about it. So now we're going to try to get up to speed again. This time it's going to be 55 miles per hour. This is a longer stretch of road. As you can see, there's double lines in the road. So if there's traffic behind me that I really can't see through my mirrors, because all I see is my shoulders, the traffic's starting to stack. And hail riders behind me. So these drivers are on her butt. They're gonna have to pass us both to get around us. It starts becoming a dangerous situation for me and her, because I can't reach speed. <laughs> So, no luck on round two. One long, angry line later. One minute, 37 seconds later. Alrighty, dude, take the freaking road. Man, what a butt head. So that was fun, huh? Kind of dangerous, too. But, uh, you know, I had to make a decision to pull off on the side of the road. I could feel those cars breathing behind my neck, even though my mirrors were crap. But uh, I'll rectify that in an upcoming episode where I change out my mirrors to get something with a longer stem and uh, use that experience as a learning experience on what needs to come next in addition to longer stem mirrors. Uh, some type of windscreen and lessons, more lessons, more practice. You know, I, I hear so many instructional schools that talk about load speed maneuvering and parking lot um, exercises and so forth, which is great. And then I was watching a blogger recently one of the first ones that came out and, and said it that you know parking lot exercises are okay but really where it's at is is on the road at speed they suggested track days <laughs> and of course this that show is known for their their bias towards sports bikes but i thought huh maybe a track day you know beginner track day would help me a little bit but i think the answer is all training take it all <laughs> you can't be trained enough right all right that's going to do it for this week's episode really appreciate you tuning in hitting that subscribe button and if you're a subscriber already thanks for coming back 
Remember to keep the shiny side up. We'll see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, it's Haley. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. See you next time.